What is up, guys? It is your boy Phil Shocker and the Nice Hedgehog. Hedgehog. Real quick, if you hear purring in the background, that is a Ouija, which I will show you guys a picture eventually or a video of him. I promise. But yeah, he just wanted some attention from his dad, which is me. But I'm actually going to be redoing this update video now. Originally, I had told you guys in like a few other videos and stuff like that, I had planned to do an update video. Regarding how my life was going to go on the last week of March, that has gotten changed drastically. So we're going to make this now the update video regarding that and kind of going over exactly what it is. And also, that was just a Ouija meowing because he's just, he's sad when I stop giving him attention and love. He acts like I never care for him, but I do. You know, I've only had him for about two or three weeks now, but... <sighs> Sorry, hair in my mouth. Uh, a lot's been going on as of late for me. But yeah. So, a real quick update on my life is uh, really okay and everything. As of just recently, uh, my cat Socks is looking to be uh, in a little bit of a scary situation. He looks more bigger than he usually is, and he's kind of slouch. I don't know if it's just him being overweight. I don't know if it's him being sick. I don't know if it's just from buildup in his belly. Again, that's a Ouija for some reason. So right now, if you guys can please send your hearts and everything to, to him, I would be super grateful appreciation. Also, ignore the cat litter in the background. It's just a Ouija trying to make his mark. But... Again, thank you. If you guys can please, please send your support for him. Ouija, come on. Ouija, stop it. Sorry, guys. He's just, I don't know why. He's just being really needy or something today. But, yeah, again, if you can show your support and send your love. I know people do this and everything like that, but I'm going to say it. One like equals one prayer for socks because I have to wait about a week to go to the vet. Ouija! Stop it! It's okay! Sorry, guys. But, yeah, he won't be seeing the vet until next week because that's when my other cat's sneak. He's actually getting his shots. So, until then, we will not know the state of condition of socks, but please, please send your love to him. Next week will officially have been roughly the first year Sox has stayed with me ever since I adopted him. And I would hate for his only first year to be with me be his last. So please, please send your love and support to him. Please. Um, but after that, I just really need to get that off my chest. Because I would really love your guys' support to help and stuff like that. So, the thing I was going to originally talk was how next week... I was going to be super busy. I was going to be working 7 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. for five days straight. In that sense of regard. And that has drastically changed due to the whole thing with the coronavirus. What has happened now is that this has become a little more worldwide. And then within my state and govern laws, my job, which is a cafe and stuff like that, or any other restaurant in that sense of regard, they are forbidden, as of right now, to serve dine-in foods. Which that basically means if someone wants to come and say, like, to a diner or a cafe, like, for ordering food and sit down to eat, they are not allowed to do that. Until third notice, restaurants like McDonald's and stuff like that, you can go to the drive through get their food. You want to go to Subway, you can go and get their food, but you cannot sit inside their building, but you can go and get their food still. So that's the kind of case with my place, but here's the kicker. By the end of this week, basically Friday, from Saturday, the, uh, let's see, 18, Friday the 20th will be my last day of work until the end of Easter. So I'm going to be roughly on a three and a half week break from work. But I first want people to know that not to be concerned. I will be doing the employment thing. So I will be safe under the knowledge of that. So don't worry. I'm still going to get paid. I'm still going to have some money. We're all 
good. We will be fine. I'm not much of a heavy spender. And again, I'm going to have barely anything to spend within the three and a half weeks. So I'm going to be perfectly fine. I'm already situated for my next acclaimed month. I'm going to be fine. So don't worry about that. But what, what does this basically mean then for the channel? Well, that means it opens up so much potentials to upload more upload upload more videos, chance to do some maybe some video games stuff like that. So that's where I need you guys to come in. I want you guys to tell me what we would like to see. Would you like to see some one-off videos where I make a discussion, like say, why do I think this Pokemon's great? Do like top five or top ten countdowns of like electric types? Because I know I did that once on my old channel before I deleted it. And maybe I should do it again, because it was really good. Got some talk a little bit, actually, and it would be really cool. Maybe go over the Gen 8 format, how I think about this. Maybe go over the pre-home mega, no, mega, post-home, and all the Pokemon that got, came back from post-home, stuff like that. Or something. Give me video ideas, and I will roll with them. And don't just limit them to Pokemon. If you guys know, it says 96 Hedgehog. You see Scourge the Hedgehog, I am a Sonic fan, and I would like to get in some more Sonic retrospectives. There were some things I didn't talk about in my old channel that I did not even do, like my favorite Sonic characters, my least favorite Sonic characters. I didn't talk about why I have this thing with Scourge, not an actual thing, just so you're aware. But like why my, the background's here, why my profile pop pictures that. Maybe I'll just go into a video on like why I would make Scourge the Sonic mascot for the channel and stuff like that. So, I can go and make a video on that. I can talk about like the multi-universe, like things like Sonica and female versions of people like Shadow, Knuckles, stuff like that. Maybe go into perspective with that. Um, maybe talk about some of the Sonic games and whether they're good, bad, and stuff like that. Sadly, I cannot do the Sonic the Hedgehog movie review because I have not seen the movie yet. Just like I haven't seen any of the Deadpool movies yet. I am disappointed in myself because I've been working so much. I haven't been able to see the movies. But now you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make sure I can go ahead and buy those movies. And I'm going to watch them. I'm going to do my very best today. What I'm also going to do is I'm just going to take some time. Spend time with my cats. Especially with Socks after he goes through the whole thing with the vet. Which I pray to God it's nothing too serious. Which I really hope. Again, send your love to him. But, yeah, so basically I wanted you guys to low down on how work is going to be now for me. So basically, again, like I said, after Friday, I will not be working until the day after Easter, which would be a Monday. I don't know if I'll be working that Monday and then having a day off or working the whole week. Or I'll be working the day after Easter, which then would be the 14th, if I'm correct. So I'm going to have, like I said, about three and a half weeks, but you know what? As much as it would suck because of this whole coronavirus, which I'm telling you all right now, stop overreacting. It's just a flu. It's only severe to infants slash young children and adults. Well, more specifically, the elderly people, because they're the only people that have a legit chance of potentially dying from this virus, even though it's a flu. So please don't overreact to it. Just make sure you are washing your hands occasionally. Do make sure you are taking care of yourself and being healthy and hygienic. Just please make sure you're doing that at least. But, yeah, that's pretty much the update I've got for you guys. So, again, sorry so much for all the cat noises and sounds and stuff. You heard that. Ouija, I think, is just really wanting attention. And he's even still doing it right now. And I'm petting him constantly right now. But, yeah, that's going to be the update video. We Again, we're going to change it because I was going to go tell him be all stressed out and everything like that. But now, I'm gonna, it looks like I have basically a vacation where I can not stress. I can relax. I'm not going to worry about it and stuff like that. I'm just going to be looking forward to having a chance to sit back, relax, not stress about work. Maybe go, because my siblings are actually not going to be in school for about a month. Maybe go see my siblings and go hang out with them. Maybe spend time with my mom and dad and stuff like that. So I'm really looking forward to hopefully having some relaxed time and just in general, just have a good time away from work. Because work can sometimes be stressful, even though it's an easy job, but less stress, less boring. But Thank you all so much for participating around the update video. Please, again, send your love to Sox. He would really much appreciate it. I would appreciate it. One like equals one prayer for him. Well, that's going to be the update video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in for the whole 10 minutes. Till next time, guys. I'm Phil Shocker, the nicest hedgehog. Until everyone else.